when we work with families who are considering what we call transracial adoption, what we want to ask them to do is look at four areas of their life. The first is personality issues. Are you the kind of person that likes to juggle a lot of balls in the air at once? Or do you like things to be in a straight and narrow? Are you the kind of person that can handle being in the public eye? Are you the kind of person who's a joiner? Or do you not, you know, I'm the kind of person who hates to look at a computer manual. I'd spend hours trying to figure out how to do it rather than look at that manual. That is not a good asset for a transracial parent because guess what, folks? I need to ask questions. I need to get help. So we want to start there. We go next to attitude. Do you believe that there is no racism in the world? And if you do, are you prepared to learn differently? Are you prepared to reach out and find out what people of color think about whether there's racism? Are you prepared to understand that your child's experience is not going to be the same as yours? If there is nothing else I try to teach potential adopters, it is to shift their focus and understand that their experience and their child's experience are going to be different. Lifestyle issues. Where do I live? And when, we, when I talk to families, very often they'll talk about, oh, but I know lots of people of color. Well, where do you know them? Oh, well, like I work with a lot of people of color. So how many of us bring our three-year-olds to work with us on a daily basis? What I'm talking about is in our intimate lives. And I break that down usually, who do I dinner with and who do I worship with? Who do I love? Who do I know? Our children need to see us loving people that look like them in an intimate way. If you don't already have those relationships, you need to start yesterday in creating those relationships because your child's lifeblood depends on them. We all need mentors. We all need people we can look up to that are like us so that we can believe we can become functional, healthy adults. The fourth issue is knowledge. People, particularly those who culture or communities that are targeted, which all communities of color are targeted. Targeted communities in particular utilize their history, their internal history to feel strong, to combat racism. So that, you know, racism is a deadly force. And what we have to do with children is help them learn that they do not have to be victim to racism that they can push it aside. And part of the way they push it aside is by understanding the rich, powerful legacy that they come from. So for instance, if I've adopted from China, there is a powerful, powerful history and legacy there. Great many things to be so proud of, to, to embrace. Our Chinese adoptees, Chinese people, own that legacy. If I'm a white parent, I have to help that child own their legacy, which means they have to know about it. So we have to be able to give them that. So those are the four issues, personality, attitude, lifestyle, and knowledge.